Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my journey to sustainable health and meaningful success. And today I am doing my May health update. If you're coming back and you've already subscribed, welcome back. Y'all are my people and I love you so much. And if you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing by the end of this video. I'm filming outside today because my apartment is unbearably hot. So I'm hoping to get this all in before it starts raining. But just to start, I guess, um, my mental health I've been working a lot on every morning. I have been sharpening my mind by learning French with the Duolingo app. Um, I already speak Spanish pretty fluently, so I just wanted to gain a better understanding of French. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm also reading a ton. I've been reading The Daily Stoic, which is like a page a day thing on stoicism um and then I've been reading I read the book you are a badass which is a little bit too woo woo for me <laughs> but it was a pretty good read and then um I have been reading a lot of books on money um which we'll get to that in a second but um then I've been journaling every night a line a day I got the book on Amazon but you can also get it from Barnes and Noble um, and it's just you write a, sh a small paragraph every day on what you did that day I've always been really like into journaling um, and I actually found my line a day journal from when I was like if you watch my last video about health which was about like binge eating and depression um, I actually kept for like a few weeks I didn't keep it like through the whole time but I kept a line a day um, in the middle of my deepest depression. So I think that it's really good to like be able to look back and reflect, even if it's just like point by point what you did that day. I've been journaling and keeping track of just my daily habits, I guess. So then getting back to like the money books that I've been reading, I read the old money book of values and now I'm reading The Millionaire Next Door. Um, because even though like material possessions and financial success does not is isn't like my complete definition of meaningful success um it definitely opens up a lot of opportunities so i am a huge nerd when it comes to financial mindset uh especially because i've been digging myself out of a pretty deep hole that i got into with amway so if you don't know and if you're new to my channel, I post about my health journey on Thursdays and then I post about anti-MLM and um, success principles on Mondays. So that's what I do. But yeah, so then my financial health has been growing st steadily, um, keeping my head above water and continuing to save little by little and grow my financial mindset. Um, Let's see, my next category is my social health, which I am having my first socially distanced get together with friends in about a week. So I'm excited for that. And my best friend is dropping by from California to pick up some stuff. So it's gonna be good. I'm going to start seeing friends in person soon. <laughs> but um, actually, legitimately, I've learned to love my own company. I kind of covered that in one of my videos uh, during my Whole30 journey. So um, I'm really at peace socially. Um, my spiritual health, I have been reading the Daily Stoic, so I've been introducing a little bit more stoicism to my life. Um, and I also had a really good breakthrough when I was talking with my Oma, which is Dutch for grandma. Um, and my Oma was, we were talking about different decisions that I'm making that I haven't announced yet, but like big things that I'm afraid that, you know, if I don't be careful, I might repeat my past mistakes. And um, she brought up the serenity prayer, which is pretty commonly known, but um, if you haven't heard it, it's like, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I can't change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I had always thought about that as like a present situation that you're dealing with, what you can and can't change. But she's like, you just need to be at peace with your past and lay your past to rest. Like you can't change your past. You can only change your future. So just 
be at peace with your past and have courage for the future decisions and you've learned know that you've learned the lessons from your past so you know you just have to go forward with courage <laughs> and that's coming from one of the most courageous women that I know I mean she immigrated to the U.S. when she was like 13 and she is so bold and unashamed even when you know she admits that she made she makes mistakes it's like so relatable <laughs> so yeah it wasn't like a religious spiritual um breakthrough but it's cer it certainly um has impacted the way that I am being able to proceed in love, joy, and peace in my daily decisions. So there's that. Um, and then finally, my physical health. I weighed in last year, last year. <laughs> um, I weighed in last month at 324. And um, this morning I was 316. So that is an eight pound drop. Um, the month after Whole30. So I am continuing to lose weight. The last time I was 316 pounds, I was at my older brother's wedding in 2018 when he got married. So, um, yeah, I'm only like four pounds away from being able to say that I've lost 40 pounds. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. <laughs> um, and then as far as measurements, my arm is a quarter of an inch I don't know if it's bigger, but it's a quarter of an inch lower, at least. I've lost one and a half inches on my chest. I've lost nothing on my waist, but half an inch on my hips, half an inch on my thighs, a quarter of an inch on my calves. So, yeah. Um, but I have been, I cut breakfast. I haven't been eating breakfast just because I wasn't feeling much of a difference with or without breakfast. So I'm like, why bother? And um, I have been walking more. If you follow me on Instagram at Sarah Girl Daily, which is linked down below, um, I have been walking a lot and I actually walked two 5Ks this last month, uh, which my goal for 2020 was to be able to walk a 5K. So doubled it. <laughs> and then the last walk that I went on was Monday and I walked four miles so you girl one step at a time right that's all about habit change it's not going to happen overnight and you can't push it too hard or too fast because then you'll be like me and end up injuring yourself and have to wait a week before you can actually do anything um more physical activity wise so yeah that has been another huge victory physical health wise and um, currently and moving forward, I'm working on my sleep habits because they've been crappy for a very long time. <laughs> so that's what, I'm, that's what I'm working on. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Nope, I don't have anything else, but it's been a really good month and I've been making a lot of progress because I have been putting forth sustainable effort for sustainable health. So, oh, no, I do have one more thing. Um, financially, mentally, spiritually, I started school and I am going back to school to get a dual certificate in health and life coaching uh, because I want to be able to take my journey and help other people find sustainable health and make those habit changes um, and also just find meaningful success and fulfillment in their daily lives. So super excited about that. Um, I started school a couple weeks ago and that has been going well and I have been balancing everything pretty well. I've actually like calendar planned the lessons that I'm doing because it's kind of go at your own pace. Um, so your girl is busy making change. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's really all I have. Um, like, comment. You guys are like incredible in the comment section. <laughs> I don't think I could do this without you guys because you guys are such a huge support. Um, but yeah, and thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I think at the beginning of May was when I thanked everybody for 200 subscribers and we're already halfway to 300 or like at 250. So crazy and exciting and you guys are the realist. So 
anyway, I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> Bye.